So I tweeted out something a little while back about what to do if you can't find crew for your film. And a lot of you seem to find that useful, so I figured I'd make this video to sort of expand upon that. But first, before we get into all that, we gotta talk about where do you find crew? Ways to find crew. One, you meet people in film school. Two, you network on other people's sets or at film festivals. Three, you're a part of some type of film club or Facebook group. But if you're a newbie, it's gonna take you time to build those relationships. That's not something that happens overnight. So what do we do in the meantime? Most people don't wanna hear this, but maybe shelf that idea for now and write something, uh, write something else. Something simple or something that you can film on your own. If someone were to tell you that they can't make a film unless they have a red camera, you would think that's ridiculous. But saying that you can't make films unless you have a crew is the same thing. Here's the deal, there are many points along your filmmaking journey where you might find yourself working alone. For instance, many of you know that I spent seven years making my first feature film, Unsound. I spent a ton of money and I had a decent sized crew. While I was working on that film, I had some downtime. I wanted to film other projects, but I didn't have any money because I was spending all of it on Unsound. Plus, crewing up just to shoot another small project is a real hassle. I wanna continue filming and I wanna share up with my skills, but I don't want it to be this whole big thing every single time. Fine money, fine crew, come on man. It gets old. I gotta figure out how to make cheaper films with no crew. It took a lot of trial and error and I made a lot of mistakes. The first couple of solo films were terrible, but I got better at it. Then I started incorporating some of these little solo micro films into my tip videos, like Slapboxer and Father's Day and Valentine's Day. After a while, I started getting really good at it and now I actually enjoy working alone. We're taught that the only way to make films is to have a crew, but that's the classical Hollywood model of filmmaking. There are indeed other models of filmmaking. You do have options. Now I can do the traditional filmmaking model with crew, but I can also film alone if I need to. But either way, I'm always able to film something. So if you can't find crew for your current film, one, shelf that idea for now. Two, write another idea, something simple, preferably less than four pages. Three, use no more than two locations. Four, simplify your shots. Remember, you don't have a crew. Five, use wireless labs or a mic stand to get your audio. I've done both methods in my behind the scenes videos. Six, shoot it yourself with whatever you have. You're going to make mistakes, that's fine. Learn from them and keep moving. Seven, repeat the process until you get crazy good. Eight, network. While you're shooting these one man style films, keep networking, helping other filmmakers, message people on forums, help out on student films, etc. Nine, then come back to that first idea now that you've got more experience. You can either rewrite it so that it can be shot solo or leave it as is and go find crew. The reality is this, the more you film, the better you get. It doesn't matter if you're filming by yourself or with a crew. And if you have to shoot solo for a while until you can find crew, hey, that's okay. Just take it one step at a time. You'll be better for it. I've got a few videos planned to show you guys how to work solo if that's where you're at. Thank you for watching. Keep hustling and Debrit out.